Unless it's an emergency, it's likely your dentist's office is closed right now. That's because of stringent state requirements. Well, one area dentist says she's open and taking patients. David Kaplan shows us the extra precautions she is using to keep staff and patients safe. You typically won't see this piece of equipment in a dentist's office, but desperate times have called for desperate measures. It's constant pain. Heather King from Phillipsburg says that pain, which has lasted all week, has been agonizing. I woke up Monday, Monday morning. I was in the middle of the night with pain, and I just took some like Motrin and went back to sleep. And then it was kind of hurting Monday all day, but not like real bad. Dentists in the state were shut down at the beginning of the week if they didn't have negative air pressure and an air filtration system. King's dentist prescribed her pain medication, but it didn't help. Her dentist couldn't treat her because he was shut down. That's when a co-worker told King about Center Dental Care, which has the equipment needed to meet state requirements. We have fresh air coming in from the air handler, um, the negative pressures keeping it within this sealed part of the building and then the filter is filtering the air that's in this part of the building. Dr. Nicole Carnicella says the negative air pressure prevents a patient who might have COVID-19 from spreading the disease. That's because it removes the virus that might be in the air from a cough or a sneeze. The state health department modified their restrictions Thursday. Now dentists can treat emergency patients without using negative air pressure or air filtration. Dr. Carnicella is keeping her set up just to be safe. King, a nurse at Mount Ninny Medical Center, is needed now more than ever and is glad she can get back to work. Dr. Carnicella says they will keep the HEPA filtration system at the office through at least the end of April and then reassess. In Belfont, David Kaplan, WTAJ News.